Those uh, those LSTs that put our uh, equipment was on. Uh, they would get our equipment off of that. Okay. And uh, that's when we would start to uh, working on a runway. Okay. And to build a runway, usually they had to find a plan much as possible because those islands was hilly and they would uh, they tried to find mostly a plan to build that runway and those plans you would find them mostly near the sea now on Guam we built a runway just uh, near that Pacific Ocean. See, when you're near the ocean, you're going to find long planes mm -hmm. while you, it wouldn't take too much to build that runway. Sure, sure. Okay. With being no hilly, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why you, we, you'd find those planes. Right, right. Uh, so in Okinawa, I mean uh, in, in Guam. Guam and Okinawa, okay. that's why we built our runways. Okay. We built two runways. We built the runway on Guam, little B twenty nines, and you have to have a long enough runway for that twenty nine to get up, especially loaded with those bombs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. What, uh, did you ever come under fire? Did you? Uh, and I know that the Marines had cleared most of the the combat. Area, but you, did you guys ever come under fire by some no, stragglers or something? No, we we didn't ever come under fire, but we encountered with some Japanese, but they were surrendering. Hmm. You no, know? see, when those uh, Marines and out fighting outfit like infantry and Marines hmm. go past, you would find. Uh, Japanese would stay behind, but they would go in those cages mm -hmm. and stay in those cages. Mm -hmm. And so one day, mm -hmm. we was out in our company, mm -hmm. and uh, we looked. There was some Japanese had came out of the cage, but they wouldn't. Uh, trying to fight us or anything, mm -hmm. they wanted to surrender. Oh, okay. And so they came out and after we went to them and talked, tried to find out what was, then they went and brought a temperator in to find out what they were saying. Mm -hmm. And they told us that it was a group of them still in the cake. Mm. And they had planned on a date to surrender, but they was asking the one that was already out to come now and surrender. Mm. But they didn't want to. They wanted to go back in the cave mm -hmm. and stay till the one in the cave was ready to, they all want to surrender in a group. Mm. But, but they, Persuaded the one was out to go to surrender now, and they took on the truck and okay. they surrendered. Okay, but what, what did that make you feel like when you see these guys coming to surrender? Were, were you nervous that maybe they might no. pull out a gun or something? No, or no, we didn't know. We weren't nervous. Okay. No, no. It was, yeah, they would have been suicide on that part. No, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, uh, what we used to do. Once we got to working on the airfield, mm -hmm. we would go to the concentration camp and get a group of them and come out and have them to 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 work on the airfield. Do some of the labor. Some of the labor. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. What was what was your job as far as? I was a construction farmer. Okay. Yeah, I had 
several graders mm -hmm. and rollers. Mm -hmm. And what I would do when the conveyor would they would conveyor the runway, mm -hmm. you they would go in, they would uh, have how many points you had, to, how many inches you had to come up mm -hmm. with to bring it to grade. And I would order trucks for so, so much of gravel, mm -hmm. and they'd come, they'd spread my gravel, and then the graders would level it off for me. Okay, okay. So they, they, did they train, did you have, you have been trained to be a foreman? Uh, no. Oh. I just I picked it up over there. Okay. Yes. All right. So so had you gotten promoted by this time? Were yes. You, okay. So yes. what what rank were you at? Then? I was a corporal. You were a corporal at this yes. time. Okay. All right. So you were at Guam. How many how many fields did you did you guys build at Guam? Uh we built one on Guam and one on Okinawa. Okay. All right. Let's let's stay on Guam for a minute. Um, when uh, let's say you you didn't work twenty four hours, but let's let's say when you were off duty, what what did you do? Oh, not anything. No. Okay. No, we didn't we didn't have any special thing to do. You just when you was off work, you was just off work. Sleep or yes, relax right, and all that. Right, stuff. right. You had mail call and, and right. all that jazz. Okay. Right. Alright. Yes. Okay. Um It, 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 was your group still all black? Yes, all years? black, but we had white officers. Okay, yeah. so you, so you guys, did you ever, did you ever uh, intersperse with the uh, with the other uh, uh, aviation engineers? I mean, did did you guys just build it all by yourself, or did you ever have any other companies that were white companies? No, working together. No, no, no. Okay. no. It was just. Uh, uh, all black company, but we had white officers. Okay. All right. How long? How long were you on Guam? Oh, I would say I was on Guam probably about a year. Okay. Probably about twelve months. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking, and we're gonna stay on Guam for just just one more minute. During when you guys were building building the airfields. Well, what kind of protection did you have? Did you have MPs or did you have G Army or Marines, you know, making sure you guys weren't attacked? Or, or well, did you have did you have um, infantry in your company? Uh, we had, yeah, uh, we had guards. Mm -hmm. We didn't, we didn't, you, you, we, we didn't have MPs. Oh, okay. We had guard duty. Okay. You would have people to go on guard duty. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, that's that's we we got ahead of our security. Okay. And and the main thing was that that uh, that the Marines had to have clear to made did a good job of clearing out right. all the company right. stuff. Right. Yes. Okay. But it just seemed like that 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 you have some stragglers like those well, guys who came out of well, the cave or something. What 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 would happen during the. Uh, The, the the day sometime uh, some of the company commanders would get him a platoon mm -hmm. and they'd go out on what you call a bivouac mm -hmm. and what that meant they would go in uh, survey around your area mm -hmm. to see mm -hmm. if you could run upon any snipers or any Japanese mm -hmm. around your area. Yeah, yeah, that's what you'd, I was thinking. Yeah. You'd patrol. You would like patrol, like you'd like be. You just say for instance, you was just hunt. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would. It's you're not looking for no special thing. Mm -hmm. You're just going out patrolling, looking mm -hmm. to see uh, how clear or sure. was it clear around your area. Right. And I remember once I was out with them. Mm -hmm. We were out patrolling, looking. We went through the branches, the woods, woods, and we ran up on a soldier, a Japanese soldier, but he was dead. Mm -hmm. 